<laughs> What's going on, friends? Welcome back to the Cheese Bush Channel. Another deck. Uh, Deep Clue C. We'll see what's in it. <laughs> what's going on, guys? We got another deck from uh, Murders at uh, Karlov Manor. And, uh, yeah, figure we open this up, take a look inside, get a little look-see, see what's, uh, what's the what about this deck, and then, uh, that way you guys know whether you should, uh, whether you want to pick it up or not. Got our little, our little free topper pack, boom, throw it in the box. The bu in case you don't know, eventually we are going to be giving that stuff out. Uh, we're working on it. We're working on it's in it's in progress. I know I say that a lot. I've been saying it for months, but it's it's actually in progress. We got ideas coming. We'll announce them soon. I know I said that at the beginning of the year too. Now it's been a month. Everything always takes longer than I expected to. It's coming though. It's coming. How's everybody doing? Everybody been liking the uh, the new sets? Um, kind of the consensus online is everybody's been kind of trashing it a little bit uh but but some people like it and you know there's some stuff in here that uh looks pretty darn cool um uh, morsaka undersea sleuth you have a maximum, you have no maximum hand size. At the beginning of your upkeep, investigate. Whenever you draw a second card each turn, put two 1-1 one -one counters on Morska. Morska? Mosaka? Why, why is it Mosaka? I, I added an extra A in the middle. Boom! The hard card. Our uh, alternate commander, Sophia. Dog detective, one Sophia... Enters the battlefield. Make sure it's not shiny. Uh, create a tiny, a legendary 2 2 dog detective with trample, sacrifice, an artifact. Put a plus one counter on each dog you control. Whenever a dog you control deals combat damage to a player, create a food token. Um, I guess now I'm going to have to make a dog deck. But the tokens are over here, huh? Tiny <laughs> dog detective. I look from the box. I was like, "This is Merfolk's." Now I'm like, "Is this dog deck?" Uh, armed with proof, uh, enters the battlefield. Investigate twice. Clues you control are equipment in addition to other types and have. Equip creature gets plus two, plus O, oh, and have equip two. Interesting. Uh, Merchant of Truth flying. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. Clues you control have exiled. Or exalted. Exalted, that's where you get the plus one for uh, attack it alone. Um, Serene Sleuth. When Serene Sleuth enters the battlefield, investigate. At the beginning of combat on your turn, investigate for each goaded creature you control. Then each creature you control is no longer goaded. Detective of the Month. Um, ascend. As long as you have the City's Blessing. City's Blessing! Uh, detectives you control can't be blocked. Whenever you draw a second card each turn, create a 2-2 white and blue detective creature token. Follow the bodies, Gravestorm, and Investigate. Uh, Tangle Grove Kelp, um, or 266. Six. At the beginning of each combat, other clues you control become 6-6 six, six plant creatures in addition to other... <sighs> I feel like this deck could be... Could go crazy. Could, could, could run amok. Um... Innocuous Researcher, whenever Innocuous Researcher attacks, each player reveals a top card of their library. For each non-land card revealed, do this way you investigate. Each player draws a card. On the trail, 
Whenever you draw your second card each turn, put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Strong. Knowledge is power. Creatures you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of cards you've drawn this turn. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, a ransom note. I oh, there's a ransom note in each one of the decks. They're all different. I didn't notice that it was different on the second, the second deck. We opened the second deck. Put the little tag up here, boop, if you want to see. Um, and then, you know, you, yeah, I should tell you what the second deck was. It was, oh no, the first deck was Blame Game, right? And then we order, and then we opened, uh, Revenant Recon was our second deck. So that's, we're on our third one right now. Sorry. Uh, Aerial Extortionist, flying, enters the battlefield, deal combat damage to a player, exile up to one uh, target non-land permanent. As long as that card remains in exile, its owner may cast it. Uh, Benny Brax, a zoologist, convoke at the beginning of the end step. If you created a token this turn, draw a card. Good. Farewell. That's oh, gonna be kind of some board wipe stuff. Uh, fumigate. Destroy all non artifact creatures. Ba -ba -bum. When a creature attacks, uh, you control. Investigate. Uh, Alondra Sky Dreamer. That's a reprint. Confirm suspicion. Counterspell. Uh, final revelation. Um, draw X cards if X is 10 or more. Instead, shuffle your graveyard into a library, draw X cards on tap up to five lands, and then you have no maximum hand size. Exile, final revelation. Uh, Ethereal Investigator. Boom. Oh, a Kappa Cannoneer. Uh, mechanized production. These are kind of reprint cards. Uh, Nadir Kraken. Shimmer Dragon. Teferi's Ageless Insights. A Tezzeret. Uh, the first activated ability of an artifact you activate each turn costs two less to activate. Uh, plus one draw cards. Uh, minus one target artifact becomes an artifact creature. Uh, four, four, um, you get a uh, minus six, you get an emblem whenever an active or an artifact you control becomes tapped, draw a card. Wow, that's, that's a really good emblem. That's, you're going to deck yourself with that. Uh, affinity for artifacts. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, Hornet Queen. I love that card. Jarel. Uh, killer service enters the battlefield. Create a number of food tokens equal to the number of puns you have. Tireless tracker is a good one. Uh, Adrix and Nev, that's another pretty good one. Uh, Chilane, teller of tales. Vigilance, uh, whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Retard target. Return target creature card you control to the owner's hand. Disorder in the court. Exile X target creatures, then investigate X times. Return the exiled creatures to the battlefield tapped. That's pretty good. Uh, Essex, Fractal Bloom. Flying. When, uh, with the first time you would create one or more tokens during each of your turns, you instead... Choose a creature other than X's bloom and create that many tokens that are copies of that creature. Wow. That's that's really good. Uh, Hydroid Caraxis. That was a good card. I remember that one. Oh, a coma. Uh, Serpent. Uh, Lonus Cryptozoologist. Solvala Explorer Return. That's a good one. Uh, Academy, Academy Manufacturer, Idol of Oblivion, Inspiring, uh, Statuary, 
nettle cyst, psychosis crawler. Oh, we've got our land. Land is not too bad in these decks. I kind of, I kind of, uh, of course, we've got temple. Oh, two, uh, uh, three temples in a row. That's temples just phew, might as well be uncommon. So I don't know. Terrible, terrible. Just been reprinted so many times now. Swords, great uh, removal. Endelar, whenever you investigate for the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. Good stuff. Junk uh, Winder. Uh, Serpent, affinity for tokens. Ongoing investigation. Uh, exile a creature from your graveyard. Investigate. Gain two life. A uh, Whirler Rogue. Tap two untar untapped artifacts you control. Target creature can't be blocked. Graft Mole. A Mole Beast. Uh, whenever you sacrifice a clue, you gain three life. That works perfect in this deck. Whenever a, a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. Wilderness. There's uh, untap all lands. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, Wave Sifter enters the battlefield, investigate twice. Boom, and then we got our our mana fixin' to the soul ring and our uh, arcane signet, our our talismans. Boom. Ba -ba -ba A couple more land things. A magnifying glass. Oh, there's an investigate. Uh, a couple more lands. A relic warrior tower. They got it on the decks this time. Uh. Hope doesn't kill the price on it. I know it's still a couple dollar uh, card that gets used a lot. So it's probably good that there's more of them out there. But, you know, for people who collect and have a few of them and they got a couple dollars worth, yeah, it kind of sucks to see something get reprinted in like all four decks all the time. Because uh, you basically you just could eventually be a quarter card. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, like and share. All that kind of stuff. Uh, who likes this deck? Do you think this deck is better than the first two uh, that we've opened? Um, you know, give me your thoughts. Throw some comments down there. Uh, anything you see in here that you you feel like needs to be switched in, switched out, let me know. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later.